Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to make leche flan. Leche flan is a super smooth and creamy Filipino custard dessert similar to creme brulee. To make leche flan, you'll first want to make the caramel topping. Start by pouring in half a cup of white sugar into a saucepan and heat it over medium heat. Continuously stir the sugar to prevent it from burning. Eventually, the sugar should start to dissolve and turn into a golden brown caramel. Once all the sugar is fully caramelized, pour it into a leche flan mold or a ramekin before it starts to harden. Repeat this process with your second leche flan. You could also just heat up all your sugar at once and quickly pour it into your containers, which in retrospect we probably could have done. But if you plan on making more than two leche flan, we recommend caramelizing your sugar in batches because your caramel might begin to harden before you fill all of your containers. After you've prepped your leche flan mold with the caramel syrup, it's time to start making the actual custard. In a new mixing bowl, crack and separate five egg yolks. If you prefer your leche flan to be a little firmer, you also have the option of adding a sixth egg yolk. Next, pour in one and a half cups of evaporated milk and half a cup of condensed milk. Then whisk everything together. At this point, most Leche Plan recipes add in a couple drops of vanilla extract, but today we'll be using some lime zest instead. Take one lime and zest the entire surface into a bowl. We personally like using the lime zest because it adds a little more dimension to the flavor of the Leche Plan. You get a super subtle hint of lime that helps to balance out the sweetness of the dessert. Afterwards, pour out the lime zest onto the center of a cheesecloth. Then wrap it up while keeping the lime zest clumped together and twist the top end of the cheesecloth so nothing is able to fall out. Next, soak and squish the lime zest into the Leche Plan mixture. And then squeeze all the liquid out of the cheesecloth back into the custard mixture. Repeat this about three more times. Then, go ahead and thoroughly whisk everything together. When you're done, you have the option of straining the custard mixture through a strainer to get it ultra smooth. But we found that even if you don't strain the batter, it still ends up being super smooth and velvety. So we ended up just pouring the batter straight into the Leche Flan molds. After you've filled your molds, carefully cover each one with a sheet of foil. And then place them onto a baking pan. We're going to be baking these Leche Flan using a water bath, so you'll want to pour in enough hot water into the pan to reach about half of the height of your containers. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Preferably, you'll want to use a deep baking pan for this. All we had was this cookie baking sheet, so we just had to make do. It just got a little crazy when we were transferring it into the oven. Bake your Leche Flan for one hour. Once they're done, remove them from the pan. Next, refrigerate your Leche Plan overnight to allow them to fully cool. When they're cool and ready to serve, remove the foil. And then loosen the edges of the Leche Plan by running a butter knife along the inside perimeter. Afterwards, place a plate on top of your Leche Plan and quickly flip it over. Your Leche Plan should easily slip out of the mold. If it doesn't, you might have to run your butter knife through once more. And then, ta-da! Let's dig in! This is definitely one of those Filipino desserts that's super easy to overindulge in. It's Telegunk Tasty, right, Reynard? <laughs>